Yo guys, it's Danny Dude back here with another episode of Minecraft. Let's play into today's episode. We'll basically just show you the plans for the next episode. So as you can see from the time lapse earlier in the video, we have co pretty much completed what we have to do with the island, the main island pretty much. So the flooring, the sides, all that good stuff. So if you guys are wondering how I got the materials, well, mostly the concrete powder, which you guys did not really see in the time lapse because, well, the concrete powder is actually underground. So let me just show you guys real quick. Let's just hit right there. Alright, so these are all the materials that we need for the pagoda, right? So this is the floor, as you can see down below, there's lots of glass and actually the walls here are black concrete. So amongst all the materials we need for the floor, we actually need black concrete the most just for the floor though. The sides are a little bit different, we need deep slate the most for the sides here. So if you guys are wondering what I did for the sides, it's pretty much the same pattern but instead of white glass and digging all the way down and replacing the sides with black concrete, I pretty much just used polished deep slate in its place and yeah, pretty much just did almost the same thing with everything. So I didn't want it to be exactly the same. So there are some differences like some parts don't really have the chiseled uh, stone bricks and yeah, it's mostly just basalt all the way. But yeah, it's different for different areas of the thing. So it kind of looks random and it looks kind of okay. So as you can see here, almost every single part is covered except for this tiny little cave down here, which honestly I don't know what I'm going to do with, but I guess I could do something with it. As you can see all the black concrete powder, not powder, all the black concrete is right down here. And yeah. So besides that, guys, uh, let me show you the freaking item duper here. I mean, it's not an item duper, it's a gravity block duper. But before we go there, so we can see right here, it's the pagoda, but only one layer is uh, rendered in right now, so it's easier to build with. So as you can see, these are actually not real blocks, it's just here to show you how to build the damn thing. And if I were to go to the configuration menu, I can just bring it up a layer, 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 layer. So pretty much I'm a 3D printer at this point, that just builds layer by layer. And honestly, this is probably the easiest way to build something. So after the pagoda would be the requaza, and that would be a shitstorm of a... Uh, what's that called? Material gathering, especially green concrete, which is what we are going to duplicate today, green concrete powder. So without further ado, let me bring you guys to the end portal. Alright guys, so here we are. You can see a tower of smooth stone. And if you jump down right here, I have changed the position slightly. So if I'm not wrong that I have powdered snow down there, I'm not too sure about that. I hope I do. Yep, there is powdered snow down there. And yeah, here is the duper thing. So most important part, the two most important parts is that I set my spawn point here and that before I start the machine, I have to ch start this uh, chunk loader so that uh, things load properly when I'm in the end. So right here is a chunk loader. It's pretty simple. Unfortunately, I spawned it in a lava pool. So this right here is basically just a... Uh, I just filled up the lava pool with sand. And if I start this right here, as you can see, this dispenser brings up a minecart and the minecart goes into the nether portal but not really so it gets broken gets into this thing and yeah it just keeps going cycling over and over and over and over again so as long as this thing cycles it works so let's head back to the overworld here and this is where we put in our concrete powder please go through all right there you go this is where we put our concrete powder so as you can see we've got 24 uh, green concrete powder and we have to find a way in here. There you go. Get in, get in please. Alright, so we basically replace all of this black concrete with, uh, what's that called? Green concrete. Oh yeah, I forgot I actually had scaffold. Ah, oh, bro, my scaffolding is in my freaking ender chest and I didn't bring it with me. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, I guess we could do this. Just manually break them. That's fine. I'm supposed to get it on top though. And I can just use normal blocks. I can use the black concrete powder that I collected. Oh. Can I jump? Oh, there you go. That's easier. Just have to be careful to not accidentally enter the end because as you can see the portal is uh, kind of uh, open. Collect that. So there's still gonna be some black concrete powder at the at the end. Because, well, I couldn't con collect everything. And they're just going to pull up and just... I don't even know if they're done collecting because I haven't loaded that chunk for ages since I collected the 60,000 or so black concrete powder. We probably need about 70,000 green concrete-ish 
Around there, probably. I would never know. I have some guys designing it right now. So, there we go. We have loaded the six, uh, 24. I lost two. So, it doesn't really matter here. So, what we need to do right now is to start the machine. And we have to go to the end. So, the easiest way to do that would be to enter. I can just dig on around here. Okay, that's what I did last time too. Just enter like this. And uh, there you go. So the next time I jump, I'm going to go to the end. I've set my spawn point already, so I just start this. And it should... Excuse me. Oh, there you go. Alright, so this is what it looks like. I forgot to turn it off last time, my bad. And yeah, we go to the end. And as you can see, I hope I didn't trigger any enderman on there. There you go. I don't want to look at them. There you go. So this thing basically just throws out the, the concrete, sand, gravel, anvil, whatever you can think of, into the science. The science break them, and they get transported into that little thing right there. So everything that we have will be collected through the top here. Goes into the hoppers, goes into here, and as you can see, we are now collecting it. We really have some anyway. So yeah, this pretty much just needs to run for about an hour or so. And we get about 60, no, about 72,000 per hour. So yeah, this overloads pretty quick. So uh, yeah, you gotta be, you gotta use it with caution actually, like actual caution. Do not mess with this machine. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and gather as much as I can for now guys. Because I do not want to come here and go through that process again. So yeah, I'll see you guys uh, in like, I don't know, an hour or something. A few moments later. Alright guys, it's been about an hour. Let's just see how we've done here. I put some water to FK so the Enderman will get me. And, uh, okay. This chest is half full. So are these. This chest, okay, this chest is half full. So that's about 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And one, two, three. So twelve plus three, about fifteen double chests of whatever uh gravity block we're gonna do. So that's a that's about a good rate, and there's also some in the hoppers as well, of course. But yeah, that's about an hour or so of running this, and I have to say that's pretty good. So yeah, let us go back into the overworld and stop this monstrosity before my world breaks. And I'll see you guys back at the base. Alright guys, so here we are again back at the base and I think that's almost it for this episode. So I've shown you guys what I needed to show you guys, basically this uh, big island that thing. So this island took about 3 days or so to build and the material gathering took all about 2 or 3 days as well. Because most of it was farmable except for the deep slate and basalt. So that I just need to mine that manually. The glass was... I had gravity block duper, so I could just get infinite sand to just smelt them. And the fuel is not a problem because we have a lava farm below at our storage system. And the sea lanterns were no problem at all because of the garden farm. So pretty much all the materials here were paid for except for the deep slate and basalt. And with that being said, guys, I think uh, we should sort set our spawn point to this place before we screw up. Get some sleep because phantoms are stacking up. And with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please do drop a like and subscribe if you enjoy the rest of my content. And with that being said, guys, thanks for watching and peace out.